Hello! Welcome back to my channel! Thank you so much for coming by today. I am so happy that you are here today. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I am Shasha SJ. I love to craft anything from the Dollar Tree, Walmart, Goodwill, and anything that can be recycled. I love to craft all those. And I also love, yes, jewelries. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, today I'm going to show you one of my finds. So look at this. This is one of my finds and this is super beautiful. And look at that. It's a bird! Isn't it pretty? And this is a... It's the Summer Aureole Pendant. Solid sterling silver, 18 karat gold plated and hand enameled. Not beautiful. It is a bird. I gotta show it to you guys. Closer look. And if you want this item, it is posted on my Poshmark closet. And if there are some items in there, guys, that you think it's too pricey for you, let me know, and we can work it out and give make me an offer, and we can work it out. Look how beautiful that is. There you go. Super cute bird. And it is sterling stamped in there in the back. Pretty, isn't it? All right, so if you want this item, go check them out on my Poshmark closet. And if you think if it's just too high for you, make me an offer and we will try and work it out. And by the way, guys, this ring, this is not real. This is fashion. If you want this one as well, go check them out on my Poshmark closet. And my bracelet is a brass, almost looking gold-ish, filigree, stretchy bracelet. And it's super beautiful. Check them out as well on my Poshmark closet. And yes, if you want this ring, this is size 6. As you can see, it is size 6. Six. Now let's get started to our DIY of today. So for today's DIY, you won't believe what we're going to use. We are going to make an egg gnome. Egg gnome. All right. <laughs> Super awesome. We are going to use this one. I got this from the Dollar Tree. It's the giant egg size one. And we are going to use this and we are going to make an egg gnome, egg gnome, egg gnome. And this one, a headband. Let me put this one aside down here. And I'm just going to be gently pulling anything that's inside that basket. A sock. Scissors, of course. And your glue gun. Chocolate. It is, I got this also from the Dollar Tree. It's this chocolate egg somehow. All right. A felt. Pink. And white. I got this one cut off because I've been playing around. And a patterned felt of your choice. This is what I want. I love butterflies, guys. And I think that's it. And of course, your glue gun. All right, guys. Did you know that this is the most super, super quick and easy DIY? All right. So first is you're going to grab your, yes, this one. And all you have to do, I have this size of a sock. It's a baby sock. And I think it's like, just like that size. Fit it on my hand. Super, super cute and tiny. Oh guys, you know that I'm super, super hungry right now and my stomach has been talking to me and it's just crazy. And all you have to do is just put this one inside. If it fits. <laughs> I really have to stretch it, you guys. It's just super, super, super stretching it out. And all you have to do is just let it in, just like so. And like that. 
and tie it down. All right. You want to tie it, you can, or if not, that's fine. But mine is I like to tie it down. Just like so. Next is you are going to grab your headband that you pulled out from the Dollar Tree. And this is like the fuzzy, somehow super, super soft. And all you have to do is you are going to remove this and you are going to undone this whole thing. And I'm going to make this video go faster while I'm doing it. So here I come. Da, da, da. There you go. Oh, look at that. They have this one inside. How cool is that? I never expect it. Oh, and look at that. That is amazing. That is so cool. It is meant to be. It is meant to be. <laughs> All right, I'm going to separate this one together. There you go. There is our gnome's beard. And guess what, guys? Now it makes me like I have a feeling of want to open the other side in here if it's all the same like the other one that we just opened. That is just amazing. That was so cool. All right, I'm going to use this yellow one because I already have a pink one that I just recently made. So we are going to use the yellow. And let's put this one aside. At the end of the video, let's find out if if it's the same inserts that we just find out. All right, so stay tuned. Okay, I forgot to show you guys. We need a another felt for the hat. So we are going to make our hat right now. So what I do is I put a glue down in this end and just meet them in this other end just like so, okay? Just like that. All right, so all we have to do is we just have to wait until it dries. Okay, so after you glued this end, you are going to open this one like so and make this line goes in the middle, okay? So after that, you are going to measure seven inches for this size of the gnome because our gnome is tiny. So we are going to make a hat which is seven inches, but it's up to you if how big or how long or how tall your gnome's hat would be. Okay, so mine, I would like to have them in seven inches. And after that, when you have this one marked, you will cut them like so, straight line. So right here, and I'm going to cut them straight line, okay? All right, so there is our gnome's hat. Ta-da! Super cute! Okay, next is we're going to grab our pink felt and we are just going to play around what size of our felt ears or the ears or the bunny ears size of a pink because usually the bunny ears have a pink somehow colored in it. So I am just going to play around and it should be looking like a shape of a leaf, all right? So, I just, there you go. That could be it. And if you want them the same size, do it another cut again. And I will make this video go faster, okay? And there you go. There is our pink side of our bunny ears. Next is you're going to grab your white felt that you have. And what I do is I just glue it down like so. And 
just glue it. Like that. And then you are just going to cut like a little bit of extra right there. Just a little bit where the white will show. Just like so. Like that. And you just follow and trim it farther away from the pink. All right, so there you go. And I am going to do the next ears. All right, so stay tuned. And then next is we are going to cut this decorative felt. I got this felt from long time ago, guys. I went to, you know, the online garage. So I'm so lucky to get these because they have so many decorative ones that she posted and she wants to sell her felt that are decorative. So I bought it and it was super, super awesome. So I'm just going to cut it in two inches. So one, two, and I'm just going to cut it like so. Next is you're going to grab your felt bunny ears and you just tuck it in like so on how far you want it to be. And I want them centered in this felt, okay? And I am going to glue it like that all right so i'm just going to lay it down like so and i'm going to glue it like that because that's what i want and i'm going to put a glue down in these ears and glue on the other side so once i lay this other felt for the band for their hat looking bunny hat ears it'll be perfectly perfect. So I'm just going to lay it flat like so, like that, and just put it down like that and press it down. Okay, since it's already glued, next is we are going to attach this in our gnome's hat, okay? You are going to put this end that we just met, it should be at the back like so and put your hat this bottom line right here is going to be at the edge of your hat like so and i want you to glue it like that okay just end to end okay so let's do it like so and i'm going to make sure that is that is perfectly even and it should be this line in the middle Okay, and here I come, gluing it together. And just put a glue down there, tap it down. All right, so after that is you are just going to fold this in this way area, just fold it like that. And next, you fold the other side on like that and just glue it, okay? And don't worry about this one yet. I'll show you what you're gonna do on that one next. All right, so now it is done and all you have to do is you are going to make it face up like that and you are going to trim this edges again just to make sure they are even in that yellow line, okay? All right, so there you go. There is our gnome's hat is done okay, so next is we are going to cut another one this is just for the arms so you are going to cut three inches so one two three and let's cut this like so just straight line this is just for the arm okay doesn't need to be perfect because it'll be tucked in anyways on their hat And 
and then there is your three inches and what I want to do first is I want to cut a heart shape this is for their feet I want to cut it right here this is their feet guys so Okay, so there is our heart shape. All right. Next is you are going to grab your chocolate one, the egg shape ones. And you are going to line a glue down here. And all you have to do is, while the glue is in there, you just have to roll it and roll it and roll it so we are creating a gnome's arm okay and after you reach that end you are just going to cut it straight line and then glue this all together to create an arm okay There you go, there is our arm. And next I'm going to create another one arm for the gnome. All right, so now we have two arms for our gnome and it is good to go. Next is we are going to grab our gnome's body and we are going to grab also our gnome's beard. One thing why I use this, guys, because, you know, it's Easter and you don't know who's going to get it. We don't know if it's how old they are. Anyway, now let's put this one aside. And all you have to do is just grab your gnome's body in what location you want to put your beard and what i like is i like to put the beard where this you know this you know what i mean and <laughs> i just want to put them in there just like so and glue it and i just put a glue on the top like so and if there's some fuzzies, guys, I always use a lint roller because it's super awesome to remove fuzzies. And then next is we are going to use this chocolate egg as well for their nose. All right, so let's put them right in the middle like so. There you go, and it should be sitting where it's supposed to. Look how golden nose that is. Super cute. And you put your gnome's hat like so. And it should sit on your gnome's nose. And just tuck the arms in there like so and tuck the other end super fun and easy if you can if you want to glue it go ahead and glue it and I just want to lift mine like that and there is our gnomes feet look how cute that is there you go. We just created an awesome gnome. There you go. All right, so these are the other two that I just made. This blue one, super cute. I got that polka dot one right there. And it's also an egg one. And I have that heart right there. And I made two so there are all three now and i got this one 
Look how cute that is! Super, super adorable. And there you go. There they are. And I'm going to show you guys the closer look of my three gnomes that I just made. Alright, so before I go, please don't forget to subscribe, comment down below if you have any questions. And yes, don't forget to subscribe on my channel, please. That would be very, very helpful. And yes, thank you guys for watching Shasha SJ. Come back next time and you have an awesome and wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.